I'm Scott Parent, and this is Relevantly Speaking. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Relevantly Speaking. You know, summer is just about here, which usually brings change in our attitude, change in the weather. How about a change in your business? Now, when I have conversations with online marketers, they always talk about doing something different, something they've never tried before to differentiate their businesses. Well, how about podcasting? It's easier than you think and more effective than you can imagine. I recently spoke to Trisha Lynn Favre about how she got started and any advice that she would have about how you can get started. So I'm here with Trisha Favre. Trisha, you are all over, you've been in this industry for a long time. You're all over the place, blogging, podcasting. Tell us a little bit about, you know, your, your blogging, your podcasting. How did you get started in it? I basically just got started because I wanted to do more than just blogging. And the way I got started blogging was I went to college to be a writer. And obviously there's not a lot of opportunity for that, <laughs> um, short of making it big. So um, blogging was just very natural to me. I've always been a, a chronicler and I started blogging on personally on like live journal years and years ago as just a way for friends to keep up because I went to college away from all my friends. So. I started that and so it was very natural to take what I was learning when I first started in the affiliate marketing industry and put that into a blog because it was a good way for me to keep it for myself, my own reference, and might as well share what I'm learning with other people. So I started doing that and then about a year ago, maybe maybe a year and a half, I don't think it's been that long, uh, we got the podcasting idea because we wanted to do something that was more personal and more... I don't. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. Just more than the podcast or than the blog. So uh, Mike Fuchel and I started the Affiliate Marketing Fanatics podcast, and we've been doing that for at least a year. It was actually at Affiliate Summit West last year that we first got the idea and started talking about it. So we just wanted to give back to the community and what we were learning and things that we saw in the industry. And that's huge. I mean, beyond the fact that you're, you're giving something back and you're providing information um, to other people in our industry, it's, it's a great marketing tool. And there are still a lot of people, I think, in this space that don't really understand the power of, of podcasting as a marketing tool. Can you talk a little bit about why you think it, it can have an impact in this space? It's a great branding tool. It's really helped me because... You know, I came into this industry as an in-house manager. Nobody knew who I was. Barely anybody knew who the pro what the program was. And just by going out there, commenting on other blogs, and being where other people were, it, they started to know who I was. So the podcast has been great for branding because that reaches an even wider audience, especially being a part of the geekcast.fm network. So on that network, there's all these other shows that are great, so people stick around and listen to the other shows. So that's been a really great marketing tool because we anything we talk about, we link to in the show notes. I link to on my personal blog. And, you know, so they're getting links, they're getting traffic, and we can talk about anything. And we can talk about it good or we can talk about it bad. So it's really beneficial to use it to market because... We, you know, people listen to us, they know who we are, they start to get to know what kind of, you know, get to trust us and our recommendations. So if we're talking about a tool and we're saying, you know, it's not very good, then people are maybe going to shy away from that. But if we're talking about something, we're raving about it and saying oh, how great, you know, data feeder is, then people are going to start to try it. What's some advice you'd give to somebody that maybe is thinking about trying podcasting, but they don't really know how to start? It's really easy. It's so much easier than I thought it was going to be. There's, and we didn't have to make any investment beyond $40 for a Pamela to record on Skype. My co-host Mike is in New York and I'm in California. So we record on Skype. We bought Pamela, which is a, an add-on program to record, and that's it. You know, geekcast.fm has been very nice and they host everything and I mean, in terms of the editing equipment, we use a free editing program. And there's a lot of podcasts out there that don't even edit. The only thing I ever edit out is 
um, uh, <laughs> you know, the different pauses and we're stuttering trying to figure out what we're going to say or any like weird things that happen in Skype. But there are plenty out there that are just talk. And that's, that's what people look for. They're not looking for a well-polished, you know, crazy, flashy, you know, thing. They're looking for the content. So as long as you have good content and good things to talk about, nobody's going to care if somebody's on the phone and somebody's on Skype and the quality is a little, you know, it, it's the content that's going to drive people. So if you have good content that you want to share, that's all that should matter. And you should just start doing it. Obviously, we here at Media Trust buy into the effectiveness of podcasting. We've been producing this show since November of 2007. So get out there, grab a camera or a microphone, and start talking. That's our show for this week. My name is Scott. Thank you for watching. 